can uh, see from comments Sarah's made and, and the Vice Chancellor, uh, how excited we are to have these results, uh, which means that we have a vaccine for the world because we've, we've got a vaccine which is highly effective. It prevents severe disease um, and hospitalization. And uh, intriguingly in the results, although the, the headline is 70% um, protection, uh, we do have a subgroup uh, who got a half dose as the first dose and then a full dose as the second dose uh, where we saw 90% protection. So we, I think these are really exciting results. And because uh, the vaccine can be uh, stored at fridge temperatures, it can be distributed around the world uh, using the normal immunization distribution system. We don't yet know whether the, this virus will be mutating and, and uh, mutating away from uh, the immune responses to the vaccine. We, we don't uh, see evidence of that so far, but then vaccines haven't been used widely um, around the world to sort of drive the virus to, to try to mutate. So it's something we're going to have to be looking out for. It's an important part of the, the, the work going on everywhere in the world to, to do the surveillance um, of this virus. We'll be digging into the details of exactly why we get a, a better efficacy uh, with the half dose, full dose, and so far we've seen with the two full doses. It may be because that better mimics what happens in a real infection. So what we always try to do with a vaccine is fool the immune system into thinking that there's a dangerous infection there that it needs to respond to, but doing it in a very safe way. So we get the immune response and we get the immune memory, and that's there waiting and ready if the pathogen itself is then encountered. And it could be that by giving a small amount of the vaccine to start with and following up with a big amount, that's a better way of uh, kicking the immune system into action and giving us the strongest immune response and the most effective immune response. But more work to do on that.